breaking news this noon. A Yale University student charged in a deadly tailgating crash won't do jail time. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Keith Koontz. That crash happened at the Yale Harvard football game back in 2011. News Age Kim Pierce joins us live from outside of New Haven Superior Court with the very latest. Kim? That is the big news, Keith. No jail time. Brandon Ross pled guilty to a couple of lesser charges, and that means that he is getting accelerated rehabilitation. That means in court speak he is not going to prison. He gets community service, even though someone died as, as a result of what happened. And he was in, in court this morning with his lawyer, Willie Dow, making that, that guilty plea. Back in 2011, November of 2011, at the Yale-Harvard game, Brandon Ross was behind the wheel of a U-Haul truck that was delivering kegs of beer to the tailgating party that goes on after, before each one of those games. And he was encountered by a crowd of people going to the game. He says he revved the engine of the U-Haul truck, truck to try to get people to move, thought he had his foot on the brake. Instead, he did not, and that truck leapt into the crowd. It hit three people, killing one, a 30-year-old woman from Massachusetts named Nancy Barry. Now, as a result of this, he's going to serve 400 hours of community service, not go to jail. You might not think that that would be satisfying to the family of the victim, but Ross's lawyer says, no, Nancy Barry's family did not want Brandon to go to jail. They have been supportive of this almost from day one. They did not want to see the tragedy compounded. Unfortunately, that's, that's what occurred. The tragedy was not compounded. He'll be able to go on without a criminal record. Exactly that. He basically pled guilty to a couple of traffic infractions, improper start, and something about speeding, basically, even though he wasn't going that fast in the parking lot. The truck got out of control, plowed into that crowd. Uh, his lawyer says he's going to serve that 400 hours of community service in the next year, possibly doing something in China. He's set to graduate this May. Uh, it's not the end of his legal problems. There are civil suits pending, probably. We're live outside New Haven Superior Court. I'm Kent Pierce, News 8.